He's not used. He's not used to you feeding him. Yeah. <laughs> So these are Gemsbach. They're in the Oryx family. We have three boys here at the park. We have Chobi, Samburu, and the one that's coming up with the very long horns is Kavango. They're a little bit more uh, shy than some of the other animals. There's only three of them, although they're actually one of the more dominant animals out here. Oh. Even though there's only three of them, they'll uh, kick the zebras off their food and kind of shush everyone else around. But they usually wait till we drive away. Oh, so they're okay with this? Uh, that's the, the is that the lone zebra there? No. Yeah, that's a prism. She's a female, just out wandering around. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay, Kavango. You can have the cookies. <laughs> it's we're okay. gonna eat them. I think their faces, especially yeah. around their noses, I think they kind of look like dogs. Yeah, a little they bit. Have, like, dog faces. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Kavango. You can get those cookies. It's okay. I know, look at that. Yeah, his horns are really long, especially when he turns to the side. We actually think these animals are the ones that gave us the legend of the unicorn, because when they turn their heads to the side, their horns perfectly looks line like up, one. and it looks like yeah. they just have one. That's neat. Okay, so go boy, Kavango. So are they usually boy. naturally somewhat timid? Um, I think probably around humans. Yeah. I would think so. Around the other animals, though, they can get a little a little uh, feisty with them, but they're mm -hmm. real good. Come on, Shelby. Have to go around trying to stab the other one. So 